Praise God. I'm Ruth Jehia. I'm a member of the Thoma Youth Group here at church. And I'm here representing the youth to get some insights on Elder Jenga's life as an elder and serving in this church. Okay. Firstly, we'd like to congratulate you for the time that you have served as an elder and for setting up an example for the young people and being faithful in your ministry. So these are a series of short questions that we'll ask to get more insights on your life. Feel free to answer anyhow that you wish. Shall we begin? OK. So the first question we have is, we know that there are many seasons in life. Um, from, your, from the biography that has been read to, to us, we've seen changes in your life, from um, changing careers to changing where you serve in churches, and even pursuing your bachelor's degree late, way later on in life. So how do you deal with the adversity, and how are you resilient throughout all those changes in life? Give the question, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the last part. Okay. How? how do you deal with adversity, and how do you remain resilient throughout all the changes that you have faced in life? Uh, I'm not getting the question very well, especially the word adversity. <laughs> Please explain. Okay, adversity, any direct change that have rapid changes that happen. Because you know, as human beings, we are used, change is very hard for us. So when something changes, um, it forces also us to change. How, those changes in life, how do you remain resilient? Yes, I'm getting it that uh, you would want it to, to, to change very, very quickly. But uh, uh, to the best of my knowledge, change doesn't come that quickly. Even right now, as we have had uh, <coughs> good, uh, good examples, even from a church, if you tell somebody seated there to come and sit here, uh, as we had done to uh, our brother Wawero, you can see some reductance. And in fact, we were calling him to sit in a better place. <laughs> so in most cases there is that reluctant I, I, I think uh, as for me I also take the, 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 the usual time uh, because there is the time when one hears what he is told and the psychologists call it reaction time reaction time is the time between when you hear what you are told and the time you react. Mine is very short. I don't take a long, uh, a long time, although still it, it, it will depend with what uh, that person wants me to change to. Yeah. As about the resilience, uh, at my age, I'm not very resilient, but uh, I may not uh, accept, uh, uh, let us say, something which is so foreign and so or so uh, i don't know which kind of word to say because you can see something which displeases you and then the heart doesn't like it so i'm resilient to that i would say i don't want that but because of what is happening at the moment uh, I, I take time also to 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 to, to say no or to, to, to feel that I'm not resilient. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now, the second question comes from the youth perspective. So how did you think the church held you accountable when you were growing up as a youth? Um, the reason I ask this is because in the church today, we see young people say that the church doesn't understand them or they, they don't fit in. Um, so how, what is your take on that? I agree wholeheartedly that uh, the youth uh, is not a very simple group of people to deal with. <laughs> because uh, I have my own children who are youths, you have seen them here, 
And uh, in fact, even telling them to go to church, which is a very lively community, you still find resistance. So with our, with our youths, even today, my prayer is that, uh, as we had discussed in the first question, uh, they, 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 they should change quickly to the pieces of our device which is given, especially by we who have uh, seen quite a number of things and years, and they become obedient. Because I do not want to ask you because it's you who is asking me. <laughs> <laughs> because I would have liked it to hear from you the many things you have refused to do. <laughs> and uh, your parents really would have wanted you to do them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so to follow up on that question, wh what is the role... What do you think, as an elder, should be the role to mold our young generation because to become members of the society? Because um, in this day and age, just like you've said, we may resist to, to do, to do uh, certain things. And even like the verse you shared on Numbers 11, that certain youth don't want to take up responsibilities, um, will come up with reasons such as work keeps us busy, school keeps us busy, some are even starting their own families. What do you think is the way to go around that? Um, I think the best thing to do today, God willing, and uh, assisting us, is to get to where the youths are. To, to, to use the technologies that they are using. And uh, we, we, we just uh, guide them. We just shape them. We just advise them using the, the, the same gadgets that, that, or the same technology which is there today. Because it will be very, very difficult for uh, a youthful person to accept wholeheartedly what he or she is advised. So for the church today, uh, the youths should be met where they are. We should try to understand them and then just uh, continue shaping them with whatever they, 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 they are willing to do, our work should be now just to, to guide them, to tell them this is wrong, do, this, do it this way, and with a lot of love. They need to be loved, although that is also uh, very irrational because some are very, very difficult also to love. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now let's dig in more into your life. In your 18 years of service, what would you say the highlights have been or what is something that you would look back on and wish to undo? Uh, highlights are quite uh, many. Maybe you can stick to one. Yeah? You can stick to one. Uh, say for example, we have done quite a number of projects, even uh, in our parishes. And uh, <clears throat> when, for example, in uh, the parish where I was, and uh, we, we wished or we wanted to subdivide the parish, there were quite a number of, uh, of problems. But finally, when it was done, you feel very, very happy you feel delighted that a certain uh, activity has been completed and you were a part of it. Yes. That's nice. Is there something you would wish to undo? Uh, what I would wish to undo, uh, there, there are quite a number of things. I wish I had gotten saved uh, earlier. That is one of the things which I have always wished I could undo because immediately you leave sin, you, you, you start a, a, a very clear new way of life. You start a very new way of life and you find that you had been wasting yourself, 
because if you read there at the time I came to know Christ, I, I had really known the world. Eh? <laughs> hmm? Did you? I, 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 I hope you, you noted the dates. Eh? Yes. So, I wish that could have been undone. And this one, I come back to, 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 to your question on youths. At a certain age, we were brought up very well by Christian families. But how I diverted from the, the superhighway and joined the service lane, <laughs> I really cannot explain. I really cannot explain. I would have wished just to continue with the superhighway. But then somehow, I get a friend who starts uh, now telling me this. I, why I did not follow my father and followed this gentleman, I cannot even explain, even today. Like this gentleman, uh, Mr. Mudaria, is a great friend of mine. We have grown up together. And I know, but with him we have done all good things. <laughs> But others, that one I cannot understand even now. That I could leave the good advice which I was getting from my parents and then I joined another line which really used to lead me to very, very bad things. You get beaten up. You, you, when you drink, those who drink, you don't get uh, sober, you get hungover. You see? It doesn't, uh, it is not something which would please you. So I wish I never went that route. Mm. But I thank God that when I changed my life, now I live, uh, I'm moving on the superhighway. Except for a few things which may come up. <laughs> and I'm sure God helps me just to avoid. Yeah. He does. Okay. So, uh, we see that you joined PCA Thome in 2016. And the church is not at the same place it was back in 2016. When you look into the future, let's say 18 years from now, where do you see this church? Uh, on condition that the youths will be what I had said. <laughs> because if, in fact, the youth really accepts Jesus as Christ without condition and they start serving God, this church will be great. It will be great. And we shall always, we shall all be always in the presence of God because that is the mistake that we could do. If the youths, especially uh, let us say under 40 at the moment and then we see 18 years or 20 years to come and there is great acceptance of Jesus Christ as personal savior to most of us I'm telling you uh, the church we have grown physically yes although that is second but spiritually it will be very, very warm. Very, very warm. But on condition that there will be no sin. Yeah. Now, um, like Reverend Furi has said, that just because you're retiring doesn't mean you're working. So what are your plans? Well, I'm sure we're all wondering, what's next? In fact, uh, surprisingly, my plan is between now and two hours to come. <laughs> I've not really thought about of <laughs> about what I'll do tomorrow or a year to come. So I'm, I'm still putting it in thought, but I'm sure uh, uh, I, I had a really thought that when somebody retires, becomes a consultant. That is what uh, I had thought, but then things could turn otherwise. Things could turn otherwise. So I don't have a, an elaborate plan at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe to help you answer that question, you can share what your hobbies are. We know martial arts is one of them, but you can share what you like to do for fun, and it's maybe something you can be doing now that you'll have more time. Oh. Yeah. For really 
Farming is good with me. Not really that tiresome working with a hose or what. Just looking how somebody else tended the flowers, <laughs> supervising, eh? doing a few exercises here and there, walking, seeing, uh, you know, unfortunately in Nairobi, people are not very welcome. You have noted that you just go seeing gates of people. Eh? But you rarely visit, but walking now, you can have some time to, to do your walks. <laughs> like how uh, I'm used to seeing you do. In fact, she is uh, my neighbor in uh, where, where we stay. <laughs> Uh, we've come to the end of this. Is there one last piece of advice you would like to leave the church as a whole? Now, my piece of advice is only on those that uh, three-lettered word. S-I-N. With the sin, there is no church. Without sin, the church thrives. Yes. And the sin is only by accepting our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, just admitting that we are sinful and immediately then there is that great change. And in fact, sin is the only thing that would make us not grow as a church. So, holiness. God says he is righteous, he is good, uh, all wise, and he hates sin. That is Isaiah 59 verse 2. Iniquities are the only things, sin and iniquities are the only things that makes God hide his face from us. So, without sin, we are good to go. With the sin, we are doomed. Yeah. Now, on a light note, uh, we usually see elders very serious in suits and ties, um, attending meetings punctually. So, uh, I think we never saw your sense of humor up until recently. Maybe you can share more about where you get your sense of humor, what you enjoy making people laugh. <laughs> Yeah, I would say, I would quote my minister, that it is uh, innate, inborn. Meaning that uh, you, you sometimes you don't even know how, uh, how it got developed. See, you come out when you know. Well, okay. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to answer these questions and also for your service towards this church and for setting an example. Was.